So 10 years. It's hard to believe that we made it to this milestone, and I never would have imagined back in 2013 that we would still be talking about this stuff all these years later. I'm really proud of how far we've come in all this time, and it's incredible that we got to 10 years. I remember our 100 subscriber podcast and how excited we were about that. And that was such a long time ago. So this video is one I don't think I ever expected to make, but I think it's finally time that I talk about what's on my mind because it's really been eating away at me for a few years now, if I'm completely honest. So, hey everyone, this is Virgil. Um, this is me. I'm speaking to you right now as a person and not the gas mask wearing personality you've all come to know over these 10 years. So, I'm just a regular dude. Like, I have wants, needs, and... Uh, weaknesses, anxieties, fears. Um, I put on a competent persona on the internet, but in reality, um, in most cases, I'm pretty much a mess outside the mic, or off the mic, rather. But with a title like this on this video, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering exactly what I have to say, and I'm going to try to be as honest with all of you as possible, but also respectful of all the time that I've been on this platform. But an explanation about how I truly feel is necessary to get the full context. When I first started doing YouTube videos, I had recently just turned 17 years old. Um, I had no idea how to do YouTube stuff. I saw a friend in high school start his own YouTube channel, and I decided that I wanted to do it too because I realized that fame would never just be handed to me. I had to actually go out and work for it. And at first I was pretty scared about it, um, but after some encouragement and people telling me that I just needed to go for it, I, I did. So I made my first video in November of 2013 about what I was the most passionate about, which was Fallout 3 and the Gary 23 glitch. Um, I knew that there were some videos on YouTube at the time that were talking about it and showcasing it, but I wanted to go into more detail about it and talk about um, all the weapons that you can get and combining different glitches and things that would make it more worth your while to do a Fallout 3 playthrough, especially if you did that early on. And at the time when I made that video on my personal channel, I had no means of actually recording my gameplay, so I just recorded the game on my CRT television with my point-and-shoot digital camera, and I used the other hand to use the controller. It was a mess, and it was pretty amateur, but I mean, everybody starts somewhere. And as time went on, I got a capture card from my Xbox, and I started doing random gameplay videos that I would upload with absolutely no structure or substance to my personal channel and that was kind of how, what I did for the longest time and um, originally when I started recording videos for Coyote Wild I was actually using a Dell Inspiron Intel HD laptop and I was recording a lot of it in 4x3 aspect ratio at like 23 frames per second if even that because Fraps was just an awful recording software back then with how much resources it used but throughout 2013, I played a lot of games of Left 4 Dead 2 with Kit and Joey, and we had a lot of slapstick fun playing it, but eventually we came up with the idea to start recording the funny moments and upload them to a YouTube channel. Now, I had started my YouTube channel a little bit before Coyote Wild was started, but as I said before, it was just, there was no substance, it was just random videos, and I was still learning how to edit at the time, so I was just playing around with different things and uploading them to my personal channel, such as, uh, in 150% speed remixes of songs or like slowing down songs to make them sound more ominous like the Left 4 Dead Tang theme. Uh, but when Joey and Kit and I were playing those games of Left 4 Dead 2, uh, that's really how the idea of Coyote Wild was born. And, and Taylor and Kit later on in the year started up the channel in November of 2013 and I abandoned my old channel shortly after in favor of Coyote Wild. Uh, just because while I did have a little bit of growth, um, a lot of what was on my channel, again, was just no substance, no structure, just random one-off things, and stuff that was th that I had to walk before I could run, essentially. But my very first video that I made for Coyote Wild was the Gary23 glitch video, which was uploaded in March of 2014, and the audio was actually recorded in my high school sound booth with a blue snowball microphone that was provided for the class. Um... I actually remember when I was first starting out and doing that, I had to censor a lot of stuff in the Gary23 glitch video with some poorly edited censor bars uh, because um, I actually got pulled into the uh, 
high school station director's office and he was telling me like hey we got some weird calls and uh some of what you've been uploading is extremely violent um you can edit your stuff here but you can't upload it so um i was i had to be more careful about it so um the very first video i made was in my high school tv production sound booth when i made that video i was 17 at the time and i was in my senior year of high school i'm very soon to turn 27 years old the honest truth is that for the first few years, I had an absolute blast doing these videos. I loved sharing my passions about the Fallout franchise and my knowledge of glitches and exploits and all the lore that I knew. I mean, even obscure stuff from the Fallout franchise I could tell you about and I would just have weird knowledge about it. But however, as I grew from a teenager to an adult into my early 20s, I really started to lose the spark that I had when it came to making let's glitches and informative content and a problem that I had especially recently is that um, if you compare some of my commentary from a recent video to one that I made in 2015 or 2016 you can really see that I lost a lot of energy what is going on you guys this is coyote wild let's glitch I'm Virgil now today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the simulation Chinese stealth armor uh, you guys requested this a little while back but I have just gotten home from college so now I can do this video for you hey everyone so I know this is kind of a really random video for me to be uploading but as you've noticed I haven't really done any content related to the Dead Space remake on the channel. I had a lot of that Jacksepticeye, Markiplier-esque energy in my intros in some of my earlier videos because that was really what was popular on the platform in the early to mid-2010s, but over time I just lost so much energy because of the pressure and um, the anxiety from try having to put out so much content and trying to keep up with an algorithm that was really against me at the time. and. Uh, and I think my biggest regret is that there's just so much um, stuff on the channel that's disorganized and random and like there was no consistency I think and that was the issue that I had is that I could never make anything consistent which is why it was so hard for me to make a full Let's Play series and even with a Let's Play series it was difficult because the only game I ever finished was Metro 2033 and maybe a couple others um, because I was just terrible at talking to an invisible audience. And there's a lot of things that I threw at the wall, such as the uh, Chills Uberduck AI video, um, the uh, Half-Life 2 uh, New Perspective videos that I did. There's a lot of things that I tried and threw at the wall that would stick, but uh, a lot of the time, stuff that I would put out and put a lot of passion and work into would not really get that much attention at all. And I can't really blame anybody for that but the YouTube algorithm, uh, because a lot of the stuff that YouTube was putting out was stuff that I did back in 2014, 2015. And when you click on those videos, it's not immediately apparent that those videos are that old. Uh, so when you click on it, uh, and then you hear the commentary, and you see what I've been doing, it's just the expectation is that, oh, well, you know, because there's a ton of these videos, he's probably still doing these videos, or these videos are not that old, so maybe if I click on another video, there'll be more Fallout content. And I made a ton of Fallout content over the years, and that was what was really popular on the channel for a long time, and I enjoyed it for a while. Though as time went on, the fact that the channel was a group effort faded into the background as YouTube only promoted those Fallout videos and nothing else that we did. So the misconception really grew over time that it was just me making everything and people even started referring to me as Coyote in the comment sections and not my nickname, Virgil. And as I said, I tried a bunch of different things to try to branch away from the Fallout content as I wanted to do other things. There were multiple times over the years where I was really subtle about it because I just wasn't... I wasn't confident enough to be honest with everybody about how I felt about it because I was trying to say that I wanted to branch off and do things in other games, like Let's Glitches in other games, like Dead Space, and Left 4 Dead, and so on, but I just was not confident enough to actually say, like, hey, you know, I'm burnt out and doing the Fallout content, I don't want to do it anymore. And to be honest, I feel a lot of guilt for taking the spotlight away from the other guys, as this whole project was a team effort with just all of us friends coming together and making an entertaining channel. 
Though no matter what I did, I couldn't seem to break the hold that those years old videos had on me. Don't get me wrong, I really appreciate and I'm really happy that everyone still enjoys that content and people who may have never seen the channel before click on those videos and they are maybe doing a first playthrough of Fallout 3 in New Vegas and they're trying out these glitches. Um, I'm really happy that they're able to find these videos and find some use in them to make their playthrough more interesting or easier depending on what kind of playthrough they're going through. But in fewer words, what I'm trying to say is that I don't want those videos that I made when I was a teenager to be what I'll always be known for. Um, I made those videos my first year of college and I went to college for six years to get a degree in uh, graphic design and editing and filmmaking and um, my production value has gone up tremendously since then and uh, my audio quality and just everything has improved tenfold and I am still I'm proud of the stuff that I did back then but looking back on it it just I could do a lot better and I'm like I said I'm about to turn 27 and I'm fast approaching my 30s and I don't want that shadow of those videos to always be hanging over my head as Virgil the Fallout guy or the Let's Glitch guy. I'm at a turning point in my life where I'm figuring out what I really want to do as I go into my 30s and then onward. So the hard announcement that I want to make today is that I will be withdrawing from making new content on the channel from this point forward. Not completely as I'll still be around as the editor and I'll do an occasional friends play or a podcast if Taylor gets me on board, but I'm just not going to make any more Let's Glitch or Fallout videos or Let's Rants from this point forward. I'm going to be taking a more background role for the channel, which is much more manageable for me, as for the longest time I turned this into a full-time job, like answering promotional emails, uh, fan questions, reading the comments, responding to comments, um, taking care of copyright claims and uh, uploads with no credit. Uh, there's just been a lot. and. I've been going through a lot, and it's just a lot of pressure on me to do all of that, uh, plus worry about finances and other things that go on in my personal life, and it's just going to be a bit more manageable for me to do something like this, so this video is sort of scripted, sort of not. This is me going off on a tangent here. With that band-aid ripped off, I do want to encourage you all to stay subscribed, and I'd really appreciate it if you did stay subscribed, because I have remastered content coming out for the next two years on schedule, and we also have a big project that I'm passionate about that we've been working very hard on. I won't spoil too much, but let's just say you haven't seen the last of the Rangers of the Wastes. Ranger Eric and Ranger Virgil will once again patrol the Mojave Wasteland and beyond. Expect a teaser trailer sometime in the future, um, but again, just look out for that. And look out for our 10th anniversary broadcast later this year when we find the time to do so. We're going to do an entire playthrough of all the campaigns of Left 4 Dead 2 if we can, and we're going to get as many people that were involved in the channel's history in that broadcast as well. But really, thanks everybody for the good times. Um, I'm really happy that I got to be part of this project and do all of this, but as I'm getting into my late 20s and almost my 30s, I just, I need to take a step back and kind of reevaluate what I want to do with the entertainment part of this industry and what I want to do going forward, and I think the only way for me to do that is to take a step back and start fresh where I don't have the shadow looming over me of stuff that I did years ago. Um, starting fresh is probably the best thing for me, and who knows, maybe you'll see me again in the future, but only time will tell. Remember, I encourage you to stay subscribed because this is still a group channel, there's still plenty of people that will be uploading stuff over time, and you will still have content for the next two and a half years, uh, but that's really all I've got to say today, and I'm going to be going to my background role now. So. Stay tuned, everybody, for that broadcast. Uh, stay tuned for a couple other friends' plays. And also stay tuned for future Rangers of the Wastes. But with that being said, this is Virgil signing off. And uh, go give some love to the other members of Coyote Wild. Peace.
have a problem.